Hello everybody, my name is Dider and welcome back to the Arcanum. Today, we're back in Stationeers, and I am on top of my base. Why? Well, look what I've done. Oh. I've started enclosing this whole dang thing in, and it takes an absolute ton of materials. So I need four more frames, and then the roof should be complete. And then I can worry about moving the airlock and building another one. So, first thing I need, I know I, know I need for sure, is going to be some more walls. I need four more of these, and that should finish the roof. And then I need glass. Three, and four. I don't think I'd be there. And then what I think I'm going to do is I think I'm going to grab a couple of these tank connectors and the two portable gas tanks and I'm just going to suck in all the air from here and all the air from my greenhouse and then I can work on tearing out the walls and everything. Okay. I think that should be good enough to finish up what I have not already completed. Plastic sheet. Plus. Okay. I think that that is all of them. Nope. Oh. I haven't applied plastic or sheeting to this entire row. Okay. Uh, problem. <laughs> Could not get in base from outside at the moment. Put that there, that there, grab that, okay, so now, alright, I paused the recording to go deal with some my kids doing stuff, and uh, I forgot to restart it, uh, I finished, well, I made sure that that was all good to go, I had to weld some stuff over on the other side of this wall here. And then I move this airlock to right here to go outside. I just have to set up the vents and everything. I don't know if I should tear everything off this roof right away or just leave it and punch out the walls. I don't know yet. Don't know what I'm gonna do. So I'm just going to leave it for now, because it would be a lot easier to just work from above, I think. But, who knows. Alright. Anyways, let's get to naming this door here. So this is interior door. And interior door. So, exterior, gas sensor, vent, interior. Okay. Pull that out. That should all be good to go. Put the floor grating in. Then I need to pipe together this thing. So, yeah. these pipes here. Okay, I'm going to throw a data disk where it belongs. Oh man, I need to fall all the way down there. Okay, so I'm going to have to run that outside. What I might do is actually just hook up a tank outside. And then... Just like... Cancel the pressure phase a few times. Just have it go to a tank real quick. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, that, I think that'd be alright. Oh man, that, that would have been bad news if I had not caught that. Okay. Oops. Um.
Well... No, take out the cables too. Future me to deal with cleaning up all those cables. Okay, so that's got power. I need to go grab one portable tank. Yeah. Cycle relatively quickly. Good. Okay. So nothing in here anymore? Nope. Okay. Let me turn you on. All right, now cycle to interior and cancel the pressure cycle. Cancel. Right, let's see here. What do I need to work on next? Let's get the airlock downstairs working. So for that, I need more I think. No, I think I just need a couple of doors. Okay, the so door there, door there, vent to a vent. Okay, so. And here's my passive vent. I'll hook this up. Lexo. And then pipe that there. I need an active vent. Two doors. That active vent there. Okay, so I need an active vent and two doors. And those are from this machine, I believe. Oh man, I'm not used to not hearing my machines work again. Dual door. Out off. Put you back on the shelf because I'm done with you. Active vent's going to go right there. Over there. Ah, uh, I was afraid of that. Glass door cam, but composite door cam. Hmm. Well, screw it. Composite door it is. Okay, that. And welder. So I need a sensor, an area power control, which I might have one sitting on the shelf. And. Console and airlock. Okay, so I know the airlock is from here. Air control. Airlock. Need some iron. Okay. Piece deck. Oh. I go. Think. That. And. Console and sensors. I think I have everything I need. Oh, area power control. Right. What's this? That's the wall. A wall cooler. Okay. The area power control should be in here. Power controller. Yes. I need solder. The that's sitting on the shelf. Yeah. Then battery. Actually, let me go check my vending machine. I might have a battery already. Rocket. Easiest way to do that is to go to here. Yeah, I do not, from what I can tell. Forget that you gotta click out the cancel, you can't just hit escape to close the window. So yeah, so let's make a battery. Only really need large because I shouldn't be going in and out without power too much. If ever. Hopefully never. 
Those are just in case of emergency, basically. Okay. Put that in there. I'll charge, I don't really care. Uh, which way is the power going to come from? I can feed it on that branch. So I'll feed it in there. I hope. Oh, wait. I gotta hook up the door still. So the door's cables are gonna get in the way. I think like that should be okay. Keep that. I'll just. I'm gonna have to branch into there. Please tell me I can go through it. God dang it. Okay, that complicates things again. We'll go this way. Go. Okay, mining bill. Okay. For a second, ah, get off the things I'm stuck on. There go right there, put this wall in a flat. Oh, I had my drill out, I should have taken care of this stupid little chunk of rock. Well. Yeah, I think that's all the doors hooked up. Maybe that hooked up. And then three way corner. Regular corner. Great piece. Okay. I need to hook up the light. Like, great. Bam. That'll be for another time. Stairs. Go to my backpack. Get that there. Data div. Exterior door. Interior door. Turn that on. Exterior door. Exterior. Interior gas. That would be done. Put this back on the wall. I didn't have it selected. Okay. I think all I have to do is add the glass to the doors and I'll be done. Yep. There go. Okay. I think. I think. I think. I think that that is going to be good. Now, is this considered a room? Yes, it is. Okay. I do not want this to be a room. So, that flatten. Uh, while it's out, let's take care of this small point that I saw. Okay, well, let me grab that. Okay. So, so I just want this to be a tunnel. I'm not sure how far up to the surface. There we go. Put that in there. Now, I should be able to still use this corridor for my nefarious deeds of ventilation or radiation. Heat radiation. Okay. So that is vented to the world. Pick up some of this stuff and throw it through the system. Okay. Ample pressurize. There's nothing to pressurize it with. Okay. I have no way of throwing stuff into the sortation, do I? Not appear to be that way. Works. Alright, I believe that it is time to set up atmosphere. So, if I set that to outward, I'm not sure how much it's going to take, so I'm probably going to need to grab a ton of volatile. What I can actually do, just dump, dump, let it keep on dumping out. 
should start melting. It's only 30 degrees in here. Hmm. Oh, now they're melting for sure. So they started... Uh, okay, so it's TKPA that they start melting at, I think. That's what I remember hearing last night when I was on a call with someone regarding station ears. Melt away, my pretties. Melt away. Oh yeah, these two I even have. 86 more. Yeah, I've got tons. Yes. Melt. Increase the pressures. Decrease the temperature. I'm not too worried about temperature. I mean, if I need some temperature, all it's got to do... See, that's one. Okay, I'm going to save before I do this, because this could be a really stupid idea. Temperature, all I've got to do is that, because that is 700C. <laughs> Freezing over here, nice and balmy over by the furnace. I need to get a ton more lights in this place. They aren't really even helpful because once they get to that point, they just smoosh into each other and screw up. But now, I can walk in and just grab water. Water sucks. It really, really sucks. Uh, I don't know if I have any of these even started to be eaten. I guess I'll start eating that one. I'm going to need to print out a ton of floor grading in order to make this place all look nice. Alright, I'm going to dump out a ton more volatiles. What I need to do is I need to make sure I have enough fuel to get this rocket. Okay. We have enough fuel to get this rocket up in the air, so I might as well send that back up. Just keep dumping some volatiles out here. I like how they're floating. <laughs> uh, they're releasing so much air. I don't know how much pressure I really need, but oh, for sure, keep running stuff as long as I need it. And I know that the pressure is going to change slightly as the sun comes up to warm things up a little bit. But that activant over on that hydrogen thing is going to keep pumping until it gets to 101. I think I really only had it at 50. I mean, right now it's a breathable atmosphere for me. So I think I'm just going to leave it there. Like 60 or 70 of them. Whatever the pressure comes to. Just leave it at that for now. And just flying around. All I'm doing is running around with my backpack. Tee hee hee, look at me. Look how big that massive backpack is. Still need lights. Still need lights. Plenty and plenty and plenty of lights. But I think that these composite walls give me a nice thick boundary that I can place the wires and the lights on and it'll actually look pretty nice so with that being said now that I have a completely breathable atmosphere and I'm running around naked I'd like to call this an end of an episode thank you all for stopping by don't forget to like follow comment and subscribe do all the fun YouTube stuff so that we will be notified let me know your thoughts down below if you liked the episode, what you thought I could do better. And I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye.